Good morning. It is Monday the 4th of September. I've just dropped Jennifer down at school for her first day in year one. She is so, so excited and I'll be picking her up later. It's warm. Even It was nice walking down but I am absolutely sweating now. Just from walking up I've got a fan on to cool me down. I'll be taking it over to the table in a minute because today's plan is I'm just going to uh, edit the weekly vlog from last week when it uh, transfers the files over. Then I'm going to draft some cameras I need to photograph but I can get them drafted because I just look for similar listings and take all the details from them. And then once I've done that I'm going to clean the table off and do some measuring, some clothes. Once that's done I will take my laptop upstairs and I will go upstairs into my office and do draftings because I can sit there, I can concentrate um, and I can just crack on which is really nice. So I'm just having a cup of tea while I sort out these files because there's some pictures to um, for eBay on here but I will move them in a bit so hey it's all go with the eBay I tell you but it's got to be done I need to make money so I've just posted one item off I've got two options ending tonight for some expired rolls of film one of those is at 23 now I did have a buy it now at 21 on it but nobody did that they've just gone up to 23 so the other one's at 12.50 um, that one I would expect to go up towards the end, uh, but we'll see. I'm happy with whatever I get, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to crack on and I'll see you in a bit and I'll show you what I'm doing. Sorry if you can hear the fan, it's just the air boiling. So this is the stuff I'm going to be drafting. I've drafted that one there. This one, Canon, Olympus Trip, Canon Speedlight, a Miranda Point and Shoot, a 110 camera, a Polaroid camera which is not a Polaroid in the sense that it's in, it's just print and I think if I can it and another, this is a vintage National Speed uh, Flash they have all been tested, they will work no issues with any of these so I am going to crack on with this Right, I've done all the measuring that I can do everything that's photographed has been measured so I've come up into my office now this is where I used to do my day job anyway but I still come up here because it's quiet it's my desk, my chair. And now I'm going to go onto my laptop and start drafting. Now I can draft on my phone. So like I said with the cameras, I've already drafted them, I just need to photograph them. I have got some more that I found up here from another auction that I have now, I'm gonna have a look at now. This one's fine, it's working, it's not a problem. Um, there's a couple I need to check, but um, I will try and get those uh, listed as well as soon as I can. So yeah, so the next job is to draft what I photographed. So then tomorrow I'm going to do the accounts first thing because I haven't done the accounts yet and I need to get them done. I might do some filming for the other channel, uh, for the channel, which I'm also going to do today. By the, by the time this is up, you'll have seen that. And then what I'm going to do is around 10ish. 11ish, go down to mum's and do photographing for a couple of hours, have a cup of tea, some lunch with my mum and dad and then head off to get Jennifer and bring her home. So tomorrow she'll have to come over in the car. We walked down today, it was lovely. We'll be walking this afternoon. I need to buy some super glue um, for something. Um, I'm trying to find the remote control for the TV. It's in this bedroom somewhere but this bedroom is in a hell of a mess. So I will probably do bits of that tomorrow once I've done my accounts. My accounts is not going to take two to three hours but my parents are elderly I don't want to be getting them you know rushed straight away as you know don't want that happening so I will probably do some filming I'll do some tidying up I'll do any drafting I haven't finished today because I'm not probably won't get it all done so I'll finish it tomorrow um and then I'll tidy up in here and see what I can find out for the um remote control. As it is, I can watch on my phone, it's just that uh, if I want to charge it before I go out, you know. And I obviously, the only thing I can't, I can't seem to find on the website, and I have to on the app, is the SKU number. So a SKU number is just a location where a particular item is. So for cameras, I don't bother, they're on a the shelf, I can see them. I know where they are, I haven't got that many listed. For things like clothing, I've got a lot of clothing listed, uh, so I need to do it in a way. So I've got boxes labelled A to Z, and then I've got some bigger boxes for trousers, dresses, skirts and jumpers. Oh, and coats. Um, and everything gets a SKU number. So it'll be A1, A2, um, V12, 
whatever. Jumpers would be JU, skirts SK, trousers TR, and so on. Um, I will tell you the name of my store in a minute. Okay, so if any of you listed, my eBay shop name is Andrea's underscore attic 74. And if I remember, I will put a link to the shop down below. If you want to go and have a look, you don't have to, but even clicking on the shop and having a look at the items will help the algorithm at eBay push my items, which would be great. So, you know, you might find something you want, whether it's a bit of piece of clothing or a camera. Basically, if I think it'll turn a profit, I'll sell. I'll sell it. I try. So, and um, everything's going up. So, yeah, you know, if you don't mind, go and have a quick look. Just push the algorithm in my direction because that would be nice. Because I've got to make this work, otherwise, I've got to go and get a job, and that might mean evenings and weekends, which I don't want to do. I don't mind doing this evenings and weekends. I'm quite happy to do this evenings and weekends. So, I'm going to crack on with this now, and I'll see you later. Bye. And those cameras, I've tested a few of uh, the bits that I need. One flash works, one doesn't. The 110 camera works. I can't get the battery back open on one of the others. It might be it's glued shut by corrosion. It's not a biggie. Um, and I've got them all drafted and ready to photograph. There's another two I've got to look at when I get home. It's very warm. And I'm just walking down the road now to go and get Jen. It's a lovely day. I did promise we'd go to uh, one of the charity shops if she wants to go. Um, she might want to go to Greg's instead. And her choice would be you can either have Greg's or you can go to the charity shop. She can't have both. But the fun fair's on this weekend, which is always good fun. So I will see you in a bit when we've decided what we're doing. We are back home from school. What was school like today, Jen? Good. Yeah? yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, you love it, don't you? Hey, can't... go on, Mr Bean. He's watching Mr Bean now. She can't wait to go back tomorrow, can you? Yeah. She loves it. Um, I'm playing this colour. She's playing Hey Colour on my phone. Yeah, and when Mummy showed me when she, she, she was doing it. a year of that one. She likes doing it. So I'm colouring in my book. So I am absolutely shattered now. We did stop at Greg's, didn't we? And had a, yeah. a bottle of water and um, sausage roll you had, didn't you? And a cupcake. And some Coke. Yeah, and a sort of bottle of Coke, which she didn't drink. I'm drinking it now. Because she decided water, water was best, didn't you? Yeah. Um, and there was some cold um, crumbs in there. Yes, that's because you were you, you you don't wipe your mouth before you drink. But that was okay, and you ate the whole cupcake because last year she would only eat the icing off the top, but today she ate the sponge as well, didn't you? You like a sponge now, don't you? As ever since you had Vi's cake, you like sponge. <laughs> so she's playing that. I've got a coloring book here uh, to color. I am having a break tonight. I'm going to photograph all those cameras. And they got them changed. I got changed. Yeah, she got changed out of her school clothes. She's a good girl. I've got washing online to get in. And my clothes are over And I'm going to have a shower because I'm cutting. Yeah, because they've got to go in the wash, darling. Yeah, they're they're over there. there. Yeah, they're over there somewhere. Yeah. But uh, she got a bit scared because there was a spider, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah she likes spiders. I'm not keen on them, but it's, I'm not as bad. It's, I don't know where it is now. It's gone somewhere. It's, it's hiding. It's still there, but it's yeah. in the house. Because someone did the shut the door when they did it. Doesn't matter. Well. Daddy dropped it. Daddy was trying to take it out, but he dropped it. Yeah, it was on the wall when I found it. I was screaming. <laughs> and and Daddy and and he was he he dropped it because he was scared. He dropped it because he had it by by its thread rather by its bit of its web rather than um, the sensible way, which is a card and a cup. But there you go. I don't want it to go by me. That's why. No, I'm, I know it's all right. Mummy's keeping an eye on you. That's why I'm on mummy. Mummy's keeping an eye on you. Yeah, yeah, you're a good girl. So I've got to get washing in later. You've got my colours. It's almost done. Yeah, you're doing really well. Uh, tomorrow's plan, who knows? I've got two auctions entered tonight um, for rolls of film. So as long as the uh, people pay, I'll have to pack them up tomorrow morning. If they pay before 10 a.m. You're supposed to be paying when for Yeah, see, as long as they pay by 10 a.m., I ship it the same day, you see. You're supposed to be paying to get fruit. Yeah. And then, uh, so there'll be that to do. I've got loads of stuff to photograph tomorrow. I've got seven items left upstairs to draft. I'll do that. I've got to do my accounts, but to do that, I need to download and print some stuff off. So that means bringing the laptop out as is. But that's okay. I am really tired. Paul's really tired because he didn't sleep very well, did you, babe? 
Hi. He's still working, he's got that half hour I was sleeping, I was sleeping and in the morning. She slept in her own room and she slept really well. Yeah, and mummy wake me up when it was morning. And she jumped out of bed. It didn't, have to, didn't take me three attempts to wake her up like normal. And they got dressed. She got dressed really quickly on her own. And, uh, and, and, then, and, then we, and then we were brushing my hair. Yeah, we brushed your hair and tied it back, didn't we? Yeah. You don't like it tied back though, do and, you? And, and, and I had toast for breakfast. I had um, um, spicy chicken. Goujons. Goujons. With sweet with corn and chips. Chips. And water. And 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 for dessert I had an orange. Good girl. But I didn't eat it. Well, that's all right. You don't have to eat it all. And then she was hungry when we came out of school, so we went to Greg's, and she had a sausage roll and a cupcake. I had a steak bake and a donut. It was um, very nice. And she drank my bottle of water and I had a little cola. Um, no. But that's okay. Water's over there. Water's empty practically, there's only a dribble left, isn't it? But, but when you want some more water, because there's some more crumbs in there. Because Jennifer doesn't wipe her mouth when she's eating. She puts her mouth on the top of the bottle and the crumbs drop in. Oh, very nice. But Wait, she's a good girl, really. When I was drinking, um, um, I'm down here where they can't see um, you up there. When, 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 uh, um, um, one crumb got on my um, tongue and then, and then I spit out on the floor. Ooh, that's naughty. We don't want to tell people that, Jen. I. Right. So yeah, so tomorrow's plan and, and then once I've done that, about half 10, 11, I'm going to go up to my mum and dad's because that's where I do my photos now and I'm going to do my photos um, and then we'll pick you up in the car in the afternoon, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And then Wednesday morning we'll be measuring and drafting again. Yeah. I've still got, I've got some stuff at Mum and Dad's. Wherever you are. What? Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, she can't find it. I, I'll show you what I've got to, to photograph tomorrow when I'm actually photographing it. Come, so. out, come out wherever so. you are. And Paul does help buy things when he sees it. Like he bought a Benjamin um, cardigan, zippy cardigan, the other day for £2.50 in a shop. It's really nice. Yeah, probably stuff for 20 quid. Hopefully. Oh, come out, come out wherever. Like yourself a bit more, you never know. Anyway, I'm gonna go off to a bit of colour in you, there because I'm you boiling. What number I can't find? What number can't you find? Number 49? Yeah. I'll help you now. I'm gonna go and help. Morning. It's Tuesday. <coughs> Jennifer has gone off to school. Very happy, as usual. Glad about that. Um, I've packed up my two auctions. They ended last night. One went for 26, one went for 25. Happy with that. There's money in the bank. Well, there's money in my eBay account to pay for my fees, which is fine. I, um, other than that, this morning I photographed all the cameras I drafted yesterday. So they're all photographed. I've just got to put the photographs on the listings. That's my next job. Then I'm going to draft the final seven clothing listings I've got. I'll put my listings, five listings live, like I always do. And then later on, I'm going to Mum's to photograph some more clothing I've got. I've got a bag up here and a bag downstairs and some bits at Mum's. I'm going to take it all down there and get as much done as I can and then tomorrow morning we'll be back to measuring. Next week I might have to go sourcing. You never know. Come with me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's warm again today. Jennifer woke up last night and said she had a nightmare and the sweat was pouring off her. I thought perhaps she was coming down with something but it is hot in her bedroom. Her bedroom's, bedroom's at the front of the house so it gets the heat in the afternoon. Mine gets the sun in the morning um, and it cools off. It still gets hot, but it's a lot cooler in my room at night. So she, I thought she was sick of him for something, I've got to be honest. But as soon as I got her into my room, I put the fan on. Um, so I'd take your t shirt off if you're hot, it's fine, don't worry. And within five minutes, she had cooled down to where she should be. So I was pleased with that. It literally was just because it's so hot in her room. I'm going to actually put a fan in there tonight and open the window. Hopefully that will help. So I'm going to crack on now with what I've got to do. I'm also doing my editing and uploading my videos on YouTube. YouTube, as you do. And yeah, I'm going to crack on and I will see you. Oh, look at the state of me. <laughs> look at you later. I'm so sweaty. It's so hot here. I'll see you later. It's 11 o'clock and I've just finished doing what I had to do. Um, the only thing I haven't done on my account, which I will do another day. I've got a whole year to get them up to date and I'm doing, going to be doing them on a monthly basis anyway. So it won't take long. I might start doing them later. So 
So I've done my draft ends, I've done the photographs for the um, cameras, they're done. Excuse me. Um, I've uploaded a couple of uh, videos to YouTube, I have edited the rest of them, so one's editing at the moment. I'm really tired. And I'm going to go to my mum's now with some stock, because I've got two bags of stock up here and a little bit of mum's to get photographed. Um, so that's what I'm going to be into for the next few hours. Uh, do I have to drop my post off? I think I'll do it later. Because yeah, I'm, it, it's, there's a lot going on today. Anyway, I'll see you later uh, at my mum's and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay everybody, I'm at mum's. Uh, I've been photographing for a while. It is now nearly 20 to 1, I've got 20 minutes left. I'm sweltering, it is boiling. So I've done all this in here. I've got this bag to do, that white bag to do, that bag to do, which has not got too much in it now. And there's a bag underneath that one as well. So my plan is do as many as I can today. Tomorrow morning I will measure them, then I'll go and draft them. And then tomorrow I'll be back down here to photograph some more. I'm thinking I've got quite a lot of men's shirts here. They're worth selling individually. They're about a tenner each, eight to ten quid. Put them on a multi-buy, best thing for them. Um, I'm going to need to get a men's torso. So like the ladies hanging one I've got at home, which I don't use down here because I've got Maisie the mannequin up. Although I might bring her down uh, if I can find a hook for the door. Just to use it for tops and just use the mannequin for dresses and skirts might be an idea it'll save me a lot of effort a lot of work to be fair so I think I'll bring Maisie, um, the body down and then I'll get a man's one I'll have a look see how much they are just to make these sh doing these shirts a lot easier I am literally melting I'm going to do a couple more I'm going to try and draft them from my phone throughout this afternoon then tomorrow all I've got to do then is uh, put the rest of the information in the measurements change it from auctions by now if I don't do that on my phone I might do that straight away it'll give me a median listing um, it's really warm I want to go downstairs put the fan on me I'm that hot and uh, what I'm gonna do at one o'clock is I have some lunch with my mum I'm gonna drop my dad at Tesco's later then I'm gonna go see if my prescriptions in and then pick up Jen and then come home and just have a shower because I am that hot I set her up with a TV and something to eat because she will be hungry and then I'm having I'm having a shower I feel ugh it's just far too hot so I'm going to crack on and I'll see you when I'm waiting to be up Jen probably okay, I've had my lunch and I, I took Dad to Tesco and dropped him home I was going to come and pick up my prescription I'm alright I've got a couple of days left but there was always park so I thought I'll try again tomorrow and then Thursday I'll just walk down from Dad's and get it anyway so I have actually drafted everything I've photographed already. It's not 100% drafted, but the, the listings have been created and the photographs are on. So tomorrow morning I will get up and I will, the, the only thing, I will measure them straight away, first thing in the morning. And then when I go upstairs to do, finish the drafting, all I've got to do then is literally just update uh, all the bits. So it, it's things like, in some of them cases, sizing and the title needs adjusting, um, putting in, what material it's made of, uh, what the function's for, so and so on. And then I can hopefully do a bit of my, start my accounts and also maybe have a look at some cameras. I've got two cameras, one, two on the table. Well, technically I've got three, I've got two on the table. That, um, one I think is fine. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. And the other one, it needs a good clean and a look at it. The third one, the battery compartment went open. I had one of these the other day and when I prized it open with a knife, it just shattered the whole thing because it was so crude with batteries. I've got a feeling it's gonna be the same on this one, which is a shame because it's a nice little compact camera, but that's how people, my advice is if you've got any camera, do not ever leave the batteries in them. In fact, any item with batteries in it, if you're not using it daily, for instance, like a remote control is fine, but like a camera, take the batteries out because if the batteries leak and corrode, you've knackered it basically sometimes if it's not too bad you can clean it up with like um alcohol cleaning alcohol but mm. 
Hey, I'm gonna watch a TikTok and uh, wait till it's time to actually walk to school and get Jen, which won't be long. It's nearly time. Hello, it is now afternoon. Jennifer's home from school. How was school? Good. What did you have for breakfast? And water or juice? Water. And what did you have for lunch? I, I had. I I I I I had yeah. spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. And did you have water as well? Yeah. And what did you have for dessert? Did you eat that today? Uh, yeah. Um, flapjack. A flapjack. You lucky girl. And what did you do in school today? Mm -hmm. Playing. Playing. Yeah. Anything else? Um, did you read in or? Writing or? The teacher was reading. The teacher was reading. What was she reading? Do you know? Um, 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 rainbows. Like rainbows? Yeah. Lovely. We love rainbows. Rainbows rock, don't they? Oh, now we're uh, watching TV, aren't we? I need to see what's in my mouth. Nothing's in your mouth. You just set a nice lolly. So hopefully there shouldn't be anything there. <laughs> so it's very hot here today. There's a bit of a breeze which is keeping the temperature down, but it's still very warm. Just had a shower and I'm still hot. I've got the fan on. I haven't dried my hair, I'm just gonna let it dry naturally. I'm just gonna oh, towel wait, dry I it in a minute. Forgot, I forgot to brush my teeth. That's right, you can brush your teeth before bed, okay? Okay. That looks awful. That is not how you do your lipstick. <laughs> yeah. No. No, that does not look good. Something rubbish that she watches, so very annoying. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> they can hear it. Anyway, whew. see you in a bit. Everybody's in bed. It's only ten past nine. I'm going to go up now. Because um, I've just read something and made a TikTok. I think that's really got me a bit riled, a bit angry. So, news out of uh, New York, New York Post, is that the new owners of the house that Marilyn died in, Apparently they bought it a couple of years ago. Um, have filed for demolition. They're going to try and demolish Marilyn's last house. It's one of the most historic buildings in Los Angeles, but not the US. It would be like demolishing Graceland. Uh, and this is a problem. That her estate doesn't care enough to protect the things that are important to the fans. They only care about money. They won't step in and buy it. Because they can't do anything with it. Well, they could rent it out to Marilyn fans and make a fortune. That would be cool. Um, but a lot of Marilyn fans are just learning this now and they're very angry so I'm off to bed. I'm going to go and read and um, try and get over it and see how well my TikTok does. It's, it's going up quite quickly already. Um, hopefully somebody will start a petition that we can all sign and whether or not the LA Conservancy, Conservancy group will get involved. I think they will. Um, I mean, it's not. I mean, it's like it's like knocking down the White House. In, 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 I mean, you can't visit it if you're going to take it down, take it down brick by brick, and build it somewhere else where people can visit. Which is what Michael Ritchie wanted to do back in the early '90s when he briefly owned it. He was he's a director. Um, he wanted to turn it into a museum. Um, unfortunately, where the house is, it's not the right sort of location. It's it's a very highly residential area. It's very very very. Um, Oh, I can't even think of the word, but very expensive area to live in, Brentwood. Um, and so at one point he planned to take it apart brick by brick and rebuild it. So why not do that? I mean, it has changed a lot since Marin died. It's changed a lot since the 1980s. Um, I think uh, Mike, the people after Michael Ritchie completely remodelled it. Um, but still, it's the house she died in. It's still the room she died in. The living room is... It's got the same tiles on the floor under the carpet. It's got the same tiles around the fireplace. It's the same pool she sat by. She never swam in it, but she sat by it. It was the garden she planted. And, yes, I'm a bit upset and emotional. And it may seem silly. But think of your favourite star. Think of, you know, whether it's Elvis or John Lennon. Or, I don't know, Amy Winehouse. It's like knocking down their houses. I know that they did knock down the building that Judy Garland died in, in London. But it was rebuilt. The building was in horrendous condition, from what I understand. And at some point there was a plaque put outside the front. I don't know if it's still there. 
but there was uh, uh, for her and, and that's fine and I understand that it's an expensive exclusive area to live and all people want now are these horrible modern mansions which don't last five minutes and they'll be tearing down this house is nearly a hundred years old it was born bought it was built in 1929 my house is the same is the same age but we wouldn't knock it down so as you can see Marion fans are very very unhappy at the moment one of the things when they were building the McMansion on the corner in front of hers was the worry that somebody would buy it and knock it down. And it seems to be happening now and it's horrific. Uh, sorry, I know that not a lot of people understand and I don't expect you to, to agree with me, but why, why does the United States have no, especially California, especially Los Angeles, have no consideration, no care no desire to protect its history in any way, shape or form. The amount of buildings that have been knocked down to build McMansions or to build rubbish on. And because, as Judy Garland said, all they're interested in is the unholy dollar, as she called it. The unholy dollar. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning and I'm here at Mum and Dad's to do some photographs. Everything I did yesterday is now drafted and ready to go live whenever I do it. I now have 40 something drafts which is great. If you put five live every day you need 35 so I've just got a week and a few days. I'm knackered. Uh, really tired today. Got a bad mosquito bite on my leg which is really painful to keep an eye on it in case it gets infected. Um, yeah, I brought down the other the half mannequin. The lady's also half mannequin to do tops on. I think it'll just be easier than the, uh, the rest of it. So. Uh, please excuse me, I'm absolutely tired. Anyway, I'm going to get started and I will see you afterwards and I'll show you how much I've done. Good morning, it is... what day are we on? Wednesday! <laughs> no, Thursday! Bloody hell! Uh, Thursday, yeah, I didn't vlog much yesterday, so it was just too hot. I did do a lot of uh, photographs, I think, I, I think, not a lot, I, I did photographs for 11 items maybe maybe 12 there's still some some to do um this morning i went to the doctors because i have got a particularly nasty mosquito bite on my leg in fact it's a mosquito bite on a mosquito bite which is what the problem i think is i'm going to show it to you now so as you can see it is not very nice however according to the doctor it is not infected which is good um it could take a while to heal. She has given me an antihistamine to take the itch out. She did prescribe a cream, hydrocortisone cream, to take any swelling and, and redness away. Unfortunately, the, the chemist does not have that in. However, they do do a hydrocortisone ointment. So tomorrow, when I take Dad shopping, I will say, before we go shopping, I'm, we're going to nip down to the doctors and I'm going to see if they can do a change prescription for me. Change it from cream to ointment. Apparently, the only difference between ointment and cream is that ointment is oilier. Now, I have no problem with that. So, it won't be done till the middle of next week. Hopefully, by then, this will be starting to heal up anyway. All I will keep doing is putting on some pseudo cream, which is antiseptic cream that we use, like, for nappy rashes and burns over here, eczema. Stuff like that. Um in the UK and then I put that on at night normally at bedtime as well it does help and um, then later on I will get a cold flannel soak it in water put it in the freezer till it freezes there's one in there I'll put another one in when I take that one out when I'm sitting down after I pick Jen up from school and then I'll put that across it and it'll help take the heat out of it and the sting out of it a bit more so it's not a major problem at the moment. She did say obviously keep an eye on it in case it does become infected. I'm hoping it won't. Yeah, it's, oh, it's all I need. Next week, if it's not too hot, I might pop into Newport to do a bit of sourcing 
especially if this is healing up a bit. At the moment, I don't really want to do any too much uh, because it's so hot. I've got to pick up Jen. I will be walking. It's hotter inside than out at the moment. There was a fairly decent breeze. I have got the fan on behind me on the way down to um, outside. Uh, so I'm hopeful. I'm in the office. I'm going to put a few listings live. I have got a bit of drafting I can do on my phone, which is charging. So I might do that. But I think I might make a couple of Marilyn TikToks again. I'll be making quite a few due to the house. But I want to go back to a series on um, the, the JFK that I was doing. Uh, and then I might do a bit of colouring. And uh, just take it easy today. I'm having to stay off because of this. The weekend I'll be... I mean, I'm, even when I'm not working, I'm working because I'm testing cameras and things like that. So I'm going to be checking that. Actually, that's an OM. That's an M mount. An M. I'm going to find out which ones it is. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just talking to myself and thinking about something. Yeah, it might. I don't know. Anywho, probably not. Um, just, just ignore that. So I'll, I'll catch up on you a bit later. I've taken my first antihistamine. I'm going to put some pseudo cream on it and leave my trouser leg rolled up so that it's not rubbing because that makes it feel worse. And I'm going to crack on. I will see you later. Bye. Hi everybody, it is Friday. I didn't vlog much yesterday. It's been a really weird couple of days. I had a bit of a bad night last night. I was feeling really upset and down about the Marilyn's house thing because the de permit to demolish was issued yesterday. However, th there are people within the city council trying to fight it, so I don't know. And then another time I'm, I'm more philosophical in where we've got lots of photographs of it, we've got video of it. There's even a book about it. I, I just don't know what's going on with myself today. <sighs> Anyway, I'm in my office, fans on, it's very warm. Um, I've done my drafts, now they're all drafted, I've done my listings for the day. I have got a return coming because something didn't fit and that's fine, that is part of the business unfortunately, is what happens, it'll just be done, it'll go back in stock. I wish people would read though because I do put the measurements in the listing um, and if they actually like read them, then you know I mean she might have a mouth oh yeah that'll fit me and, and, and estimated her waist size might have gone up who knows but it's one of those things it's part and parcel for business I really tired I am now gonna go take my dad shopping before I have some lunch and get Jen from school it is Friday so Paul's going out tonight so we probably have a McDonald's we do I've taken my um, medication, well, my antihistamine. It seems to be getting better, to be honest. It's um, not too bad. And yeah, I'm going to go shoot off and do that now. So I'll see you in a bit. It's Saturday morning. We're going to the fair in a minute. So, new update. Um, the council in charge of Brentwood District 11 has managed to get a stay of execution on Marilyn's house. Wow! Um, hello. Um, <laughs> pending it being investigated as a potential <laughs> historical, cultural... Oh, mum's ringing. Um, thing. So yes, it's um, the the, uh, the motion to try and protect Marilyn's house permanently has passed Ooh. unanimously. Jen, I'm talking unanimously. So they cannot demolish at the moment. Ooh. The councillor uh, put the um, stay of execution notice, <laughs> as I call it, on the gate of uh, 1205 last night. There's um, lots of footage. Go and check it out. It's all on YouTube. So things are looking up at the moment. It's very positive. We are going to go and have fun at the fair, aren't we? And we're going to have some candy floss. Yeah. Nanny Sally's with us and Granddad's coming down. So we're going to have fun? Yeah. yeah. What's going on, Jen? Yeah. Going on on your own? Yeah. yeah oh, brave girl. Oh, brave girl. Who's got the ride to herself? There she goes round. Where's my bloody screen? Over here by this tree to stand in the shade, it's just too hot. They're waiting to go on some end. Well, it's a sort of a slide thing. Um, nice day though, but it's too hot for me.
What do you want, Jen? What do you want, Jen? Is it any of these? Anything apart from your donut. Anything apart from a donut. Right, we've made it to the pub. As you can see, we are in the commercial inn on uh, Commercial Street in Risca. Here's yeah, Jen. Do you want to show them your, uni your unicorn that you won at the fair? There you go. We got a beautiful. Yeah, I, I just need to tell you something. Oh, uh, what now? Um, Granddad's a scared. Um, I mean, I mean. A, a slow, slow poke. poke. He's I mean, a slow a, poke. No, I mean, not a slow poke. I'm a, a chatterbox. He's a chatterbox. It's a chatterbox. Chatterbox. Yeah, he is around. He's on his way, but he keeps stopping and talking to people. Chat chat I'm hungry because I was stupid and didn't have any breakfast. All I've had today is a nice lolly and a magnum ice cream. I have. Yeah. You had cereal? Uh, yeah. yeah. I am absolutely boiling and I'm thinking I might have. I don't really want mushy peas. I'm sweating through so my head. Yes, I know you're, you're sweating, so am I. Ooh, it was very hot out there. Of course, Mum's decided to go home and I don't blame her because it's so hot. So she's gone. Yeah, right, go and get it. Well, be careful. I am very in from the heat. I'm gonna go and order myself some scampi and chips. Hey everybody, it's Sunday morning and Jennifer and Paul are just clearing out the car because we're going to take her to a party later. We're gonna give a friend a lift as well. Um, so they don't have to walk up the hill because up steep hill. We've done our shopping, it's all the way. I'm just chilling out thinking, um, looking for something to watch. I'm gonna make a colour and chat after this when they're out, um, when I get back. Because uh, I don't have to go and get them. We'll walk down the hill. So once I get back, I'm back. So I'll get changed, get my camera out, get my colouring book. We'll probably do my Maria Trolley. Somebody asked for it. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <sighs> and then I'm going to do that. Once I've done that and I've, I've edited it together to put it up, because it'll be up on Sunday night tonight. And then you'll see this tonight. I'm going to watch Marilyn. But they're back now, so I'm going. Okay, they're out. I am now filming my colour and chat. I've done 24 minutes so far. It's one o'clock so I want to crack on and get this done. I've just got to change my battery because the battery's just uh, run out. Colouring in Maria Trollet's uh, Moon Valley and I haven't done a lot. Um, and I've been talking about Marilyn pretty much non-stop so I'm sure it's going to bore everybody to hell. This camera needs charging. I'm going to charge that up when I finish this because um, there's a charger over there. Um, what else? Nothing really. So I'm going to get this finished so I can go and actually watch Marilyn. Yes! Jennifer's back from her party and she's commandeered the TV. I did manage to watch Ladies of the Chorus, which I'm really pleased at, which is a very early film in Marilyn's career. It was her third film. It was released in 1949 and she plays a young burlesque star who falls in love. She is the main character here, Anna Del Jurgens, who plays her mother, even though Adele Jurgens was only nine years older than Marilyn at the time. It's a sweet little film. If you can check it out, do check it out. It's so sweet. It's probably on YouTube. You just need to type in uh, Ladies of the Chorus, or if you want to watch some Marilyn films, type in Marilyn Monroe Complete Films. Some of them are up there. I've, I've got it recorded to my TiVo box. I also have it on video cassette at least twice. And on DVD, I believe. And I'm kind of thinking of going up in the attic, because that's where my tapes are. I'm bringing them down so they can acclimatise the cooler hair down here. I do check on them periodically to make sure they've not melted or anything. But it's because I've got my player set up. I kind of want to go through them. Somebody wants me to do a video on all my DVDs, Marilyn DVDs, and my video cassettes, particularly the Ni Niagara ones on um, TikTok. So I'm gonna, I think, let's have a quick look. And then I'm gonna get a drink, because it's blinking up. I'll see you in a minute. Everything. All the tapes from under the bed. I think all the tapes from the bed. There were a few over on the bookcase. I think, pretty sure that's all of them, yeah. There may be another box of cassettes up in the attic or down under the bed, which are others that I've kept. I know there are more somewhere, because there's some Judy Garland's I've got that I've kept. Um, Betty Grable, Jean Harlow, ones I haven't got on DVD. There's some more somewhere. They're not in these boxes. This is all Marilyn. Let me just show you. So, I literally just got all this um, out. There's a box there from that was under the bed. These tapes were over there. 
Hi, I'm so hot. I am. Um, there's even one, I think there's a Marilyn one in the video player itself, and I think it's a copy of Jump for Blondes. All these, all these. There's another one around somewhere, unless I've put it in there. I just love video cassettes, and I love Marilyn video cassettes. I just need to find somewhere decent to store them. I've got a bit of an idea. So, yes. It might need a bit of shuffling, but yeah, I have got an idea. And I am boiling, so I'm going to go and have a shower. And then I'm going to come up and have a look at all these tapes and try and sort them out into um, unknown. So that might be something. I've got one called Marilyn Scrapbook. It's got lots of different bits on it, so I want to have a look at that. Documentaries, Marilyn films, and ma films about Marilyn and so on like that. For instance, this is something called Marilyn Intimate. This was a stage show that was done a few years ago um, in Australia, and there were two copies. Unfortunately, the dog chewed up one copy, so I've only got this... Um, one this is video two which is a different uh, view so there was a close-up one and a video and there was this one which is further away um so but at least i still got a copy of it and then there's this which i was really surprised to find this is a copy of the 1997 marilyn monroe memorial service um held by remembered marilyn so it was the 25th anniversary so i am so pleased to find this so pleased to find this i really really am um i forgot I even had this there's probably a lot of stuff in here i would gotten i had and i'm going to enjoy going through it but right now i'm going to go and have a shower so i am boiling <laughs> camera just decided to play up didn't want to uh, zoom out oops i have just had a lovely shower it's lovely cold i've put on jam for blondes this is the vhs i've put the vhs on for a reason And I'll explain another time. I'm just going to chill out for a bit. I'm uploading the video I made up in the attic, which is mad. I am just mad. I am the maddest woman in the world. And it's not playing for some reason. I don't know. My phone's overheating, I think. So. And it's actually been playing up a bit, so I'm not worried about it. Because I've been up and took it out in the attic, it's far too hot for it up there. It's there, the video is there, it's playing, it's fine. It freezes every now and again, but that's because the foam was so hot up there, but we'll see what happens. Anywho, I am going to uh, do this, get dressed, got my pyjamas on, and uh, I'm clean, which is the main thing. <laughs> and I'm just going to watch a bit of Marilyn for a while. See you later. It's Sunday night and I'm very tired. I haven't flipping um, edited together my car and chat, so you might actually get two videos tomorrow when I've edited this one. I'm actually going to go to sleep and I'm really tired. Um, so, and then tomorrow I'm going to tidy up a bit more before I go to London to do some more photos for the um, for, for eBay. Um, but yeah, I'll put Marion on in the background while I'm sorting it out and. I love it. I love her. <laughs> and Jennifer's asleep in her room at the moment. She might come in later because it's very hot in there. She wakes up, she doesn't want she won't go back to sleep, but it's okay. But I'm off to bed now, so we'll do it all again tomorrow. See what happens. I'll find another memory card though. I think there's a couple in there and there's some downstairs, so we'll be alright. See you soon. <laughs>